I'm not sure about you, but I feel like the Messages app on iPhone, iPad and Mac OS has kind of been neglected by Apple over the years. Certainly if you compare its features with those found in over the top messaging apps like WhatsApp, Signal and Messenger. However, with the release of iOS 16, Apple has implemented a raft of new enhancements. In this video, I want to share with you 10 of my favorites and stick around to the end because I think many of you will find these really useful. Or as always, time tags are in the description below if you wish to skip ahead. With that out of the way, let's get started. And first up is the ability to edit a message. Gone are the days when you used to have to send a second message to explain or clarify a typo in your first message. Now, if you type something incorrectly, you can simply edit the message by long pressing on it to bring up the quick actions menu. Note that both you and the recipient will be notified that the message has been edited. And both parties can still view the original incorrect message by clicking on the little blue edit text. Messages can be edited up to five times in 15 minutes. After that, the option will disappear from the quick actions menu. One final thing to note is that this only works for the blue eye messages, not the green SMS messages. And if the recipient is not on iOS 16, they will see each edit as a separate message. Next up is unsending a message. We've all experienced moments where we've immediately regretted hitting send. Well, now you can quickly undo send by again bringing up the quick actions menu. Note that if you manage to delete the message before your recipient opens it, all they will see is a notification that you unsent the message. Otherwise, mm. if they happen to be in the chat thread or if they just read the message before you're able to unsend it, they will see it before it disappears from their thread. You have two minutes to unsend a message and as before, it only works on iMessages, not SMS, and only between phones that are on iOS 16. Messages that are sent to phones with earlier versions of iOS will not be removed. In iOS 16, you now also have the ability to mark messages as read or unread. I find this a really useful way to remind myself to reply to someone when I don't have time to reply immediately. Now you can either swipe right on a conversation to mark it as read or unread, or the option is also available in the quick actions menu. This is one of the few features that does both work on iMessages and SMS text messages. And it's also worth noting that your recipient will still see that you have initially read the message, even if you mark it as unread. On the subject of unread messages, if you use the contacts widget, you'll now see a notification under the contact when they send you a message. Clicking on the contact will bring up their details, which now includes their recent messages and when they last called you. And clicking on the message will open your chat thread, which is very nice. Another nice feature relating to the Contacts app is the ability to create message groups. Now in Contacts you have lists where you can click on Add List to create a new contact group. Give your group a name and then click on it to add participants. Having added your contacts, click Done. Now you can swipe right to either email or message your group. You can even message your whole contacts list if you wish and the option is also available as a quick actions menu item. Another enhancement is the ability to recover deleted conversations. Clicking on edit now has the additional menu option to show recently deleted conversations. Here you can select which conversations to recover or you can recover them all. Note as with deleted photos, notes and emails, you have 30 days to recover deleted messages after which time they are permanently deleted. One of my favorite new features in the messaging app is the ability to convert measurements. Now when someone sends you a measurement like the temperature, height or distance, you'll see they are underlined, meaning you can click on them for further information. So here you can see that 10 degrees Celsius equates to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Feet can be converted into meters and other decimal measurements and miles converts into kilometers. Dictation has also been overhauled in iOS 16. Previously, when you clicked on the audio button in the text field, you could create an audio recording that would be sent as an audio file to the recipient. Now in iOS 16, the audio button is replaced with a microphone button, which will convert what you speak to text. So if I press the button and say, hey, 
Don't forget to buy some milk on the way home. You can see that it appears as text. You can still send audio recordings by using the new app in the app drawer and it works in the same way as it did before. Press and hold on the red microphone to begin recording. Speak your message and release the button when you're finished recording and ready to send. Hey, don't forget to buy milk on the way home. A small enhancement that is handy for group messages is that now when you wish to direct a message to a specific person or mention someone by using the at symbol followed by their name, Apple will display their profile icon and their name as a suggestion above the keyboard. Previously, you had to type out their whole name manually, which was kind of annoying. Finally, for today, you now have the ability to filter out conversations when you have Do Not Disturb or another focus mode enabled. If I enable Do Not Disturb from the control panel and then customize my focus mode by going into the settings app, down at the bottom of the page, I have focus filters. Here I can choose to filter out conversations so I'm not tempted to be distracted by them when opening the messages app. I'll choose to filter by people and then go up and only allow messages from Anthony, just in case of an emergency. I can also do the same for phone calls. Now, if I go into the Messages app, whilst Do Not Disturb is enabled, you can see that my messages are filtered and I can only see conversations that include Anthony. I can also choose to enable and disable the option directly from here without having to go back and edit the focus mode. So those are my 10 favorite enhancements in the messaging app for iOS 16. Drop me a comment to let me know which one you like best or if there's a feature that you like that failed to make my list. If you missed my previous video, then you might be interested in my 10 free alternatives to some popular paid apps and apps that you should never pay full price for. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.